One really big lifesaver here in InDesign is that we can undo changes that we make in a document. So let's say if I grab my selection tool and select one of these images, and let's say I'm going to move this image down and maybe move this one down a little bit to see what that looks like. Eh, I don't like it. Well, I can undo the changes I just made by hitting Control Z on my keyboard to revert to the last known layout or configuration. I can also access undo from the edit menu up at the top. There we can see the keyboard shortcut and undo and we can see it's grayed out. So what this tells me is I can hit undo as many times as I need to. InDesign is going to remember all of the changes that I made all the way back to the document's original form when I opened it. So when you are out of Control Z or Undo features, it will gray out like it did up here, right? Because we just opened up this document for this lesson. So keep that in mind. If you're working in a document all day, InDesign remembers every little change that you made and Control Z will help you undo all the changes that you made within that document. Now to follow up on our last movie, we talked about the different ways that you can save, right? So if we come in here and we make a lot of changes, I'm just going to kind of silly like make a bunch of changes. Move some text and some images on different layouts. Now I've made quite a few edits and if I wanted to, I can hit Control Z as many times as I need to revert that back uh, to its original state. Another feature that we can do, let's say you're working on this document and the team leader comes in and they said, you know, I really think that we want to go with the original layout. Well, one of the things that you can do is come up to the file menu and instead of hitting Control Z repeatedly to get back to the original document, you can come select the revert button and it's going to ask you if you want to revert to the last saved version of Skay Harbor OM.IndD or InDesign and you click yes and it will revert this document to its original form. Now what if you come in and you make a change like I'm going to move this and you hit control S on your keyboard, right? Now we've just performed, do you recall the term that I used? Destructive editing, right? Because we hit control S, we just overrode our original file. So that's one of the cautionary tales of InDesign. When you hit control S and you've opened the native file, you're doing destructive editing, you just save the original file. Now if I ever want to revert, and I just saved it, it's always going to revert to my last save here. The other option, and one way that we can fix this, if it's not too late, <laughs> we can go up to the file menu, and let's save this as a copy. So I'm going to come in, and I'll just go ahead and name this instead of copy. I'll name it new file dot indd and I'm going to click Save. Now that I've saved it, here's the thing that I want you to pay attention to. If you didn't get it in the last movie, here's your final chance to get it. I saved it as a copy, right? But notice that the file I have open is still chaseskyharbor.om.indd. It is not the copy that I just saved. So if I hit Control Z on my keyboard, I am now fixing the original save. Even though I've saved the file, the key thing is to remember that InDesign is going to remember all the changes I've made while the file is open. If I happen to close this file while I made those changes, I'm out of luck. But because I have the file open, I can hit Control S on my keyboard to save this file because I've just reverted it back, right? Now I can go to File, Open, and I'm going to browse to our copy that we just saved, and I'm going to open that. And I get this little font warning, that's okay, it's something we're going to cover in a later movie. 
Now I've got two versions of this file open. If we look at my tabs up here, I'm currently on Chase Sky Harbor new file, and it shows the file where I left it. But if I go to my original OM file, it shows me the original file. So now, what are my options? I'm probably going to finish the rest of my work in the Chase Sky Harbor OM save file. And I can save this as I work in my document, leaving the original document intact. So that is a real, real big lifesaver, but also one thing I want to clue you in on, if you are working on the same document all day long, it is always good. Keep your original, you're saving as a copy, and once every couple of hours, close those documents out and reopen them. Why would you want to do that? Well, before you do that, you make sure that you saved the original and you saved a copy. But because keeping in mind that InDesign records everything that you do, that takes up system resources. And the longer you're working in that file, the more system resources you're going to use. And you may have noticed in the past, you're working on this file, and throughout the day, your system started becoming really, really slow. And that's because of the resources that it takes to memorize those files. So if you just keep that in mind, this undo function will become a lifesaver and the save as or save as copy function will also save you a lot of headache, frustration, and time.